A family bike ride in downtown Oakland has ended in tragedy. The father, who is deaf, struck and killed by a hit and run driver as his two young sons watched. Our crime reporter Henry Lee joining us now live after talking with the victim's family today. Henry, what do they have to say? Well, this deaf father could not have heard that speeding car barreling toward him and his family, but the police chief says that his disability should not have mattered. He says the driver was reckless and needs to surrender. The surveillance video is horrific. Dmitry Putilov and his two young sons are riding bikes together in downtown Oakland. As they approach the busy corner of 14th and Jefferson, the 42-year-old father, who is deaf, ventures out first and is hit and killed by a speeding black infinity. The driver never stopped. His sons, ages 6 and 8, are hearing. They weren't hurt, but witnessed their dad's death at about 8.30 in the evening on June 16th. Now her kids are going to go see a therapist, and they're going to counseling. I spoke to Pudilov's ex-wife, Elena, who is also deaf, as her son interpreted. He should have stopped and checked. What happened if he did hit him? Like, you really need to, like, stop and check, not just drive away. We cannot think that this is okay, uh, that this is tragic. Uh, and to, for two children to have to see this happen, is, is, is devastating for all of us. Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong says even if the father could not hear the speeding car, all bicyclists should feel safe regardless of any disability. This is an issue of someone's callousness um, and someone's ir disregard for human life and not uh, and driving at a speed that is inappropriate uh, in anywhere in our city. Putilov, known as Dima, was born in the Soviet Union. He moved to the U.S. for better opportunities and worked in construction. Friends say he was the glue that held many ex-Soviet deaf people in the Bay Area together. People remember as a hard worker, really just supporting his community, uh, you know, all the deaf community. Seraphine Barlow says he wants the driver who killed his stepdad to be brought to justice. Should have just stopped and like checked and it's just, it's not just left in there to like die. Now, anyone with information about the identity of this Infinity driver is asked to contact Oakland Police. Live in Oakland, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Just an awful crime, Henry. Hopefully someone comes forward with information in this case.